In 1984, Moscow, Tetra was born, created by Russian scientist Alexei Pajanov on an Electronica 60, a computer made in the Soviet Union throughout 1978 and 1991. The reason I bring up Tetris is because it symbolizes my journey. The deeper I look into this simplistic and yet addictive game, the more I see how this connects to my life. My aspiration is to live a prosperous and successful life. Make my parents proud. It's not an easy going journey, I felt like I had all the weight on my shoulders, knowing that I'm the only one with opportunities that can make a change for the better. In Tetris, you're only playing against the time and the never-ending flow of pieces from top to bottom. Tetris is all about placing objects in the most efficient way possible, playing out your next move. Decision making is a fundamental aspect in the game of Tetris, just like it is in the real world. There's times where bad decisions are made, but the next piece that drops down is an opportunity to correct that mistake. The game starts easier at first, but eventually gets harder as you progress. The pieces move at a rapid pace, and one mistake leads to a pile of them. It creates a lot of pressure being in that position, and eventually, it's game over. Once it's, a, once it's game over, you can always play again. The addictive aspect of the game, wanting to beat your best score. Continuing to challenge yourself, continue to move forward despite how overwhelming it may be, despite how quick each piece is falling, as you continue to play, you learn from your mistakes and improve upon them, and you get better at handling those overwhelming situations. In the game of Tetris, the mindset is internally focused. You are challenging yourself to correctly manipulate a random stream of inputs into an orderly configuration. Tetris is about perseverance, and so is my journey. One prime example of me growing would be the entirety of middle school. Um, it did not start off great at first, but each year I make sure to improve every day. I improve my grades tremendously and also I've grown my own self-esteem because of it. As of high school year I'm doing just fine. I'm doing my best to maintain the cycle going. I'm doing good and I'm making sure I maintain the good grades that I have now. However, I still have a long way ahead of me. I still pl uh, plan on keeping that motion going throughout high, uh, college. And I'm gonna keep on working hard until I achieve what I want in life. I am in debt, indebted to my parents because I know how much they sacrificed and how much they worked hard for me. They did all of that to put me in the position that I am now, and the least I could do is become the person they always wanted me to become. I am internally grateful for the services, and I'm going to continue to pursue my goals. And this is a long journey that I have ahead of me. However, if Tetris has taught me anything is that you persevere as long as you're fully committed and focus on achieving those things. Just like you see yourself improving on Tetris each game, even if you lose, you continue to play the game. You continue to strive and eventually you achieve those things. You get a better score and then all the hard work pays off. Whenever I face a low moment in my life, I will not let that derail my journey. I'm gonna get back on my feet and continue to push through regardless of the difficulty. Another thing that Tetris has taught me is that it requires a lot of patience before you achieve the things that you want in life. Uh, there won't be a sudden change instantaneously. It's more uh, like a progression and it's going to take time before I achieve the goals that I want. Just like in a game of Tetris, Whenever you lose, you got to start all over again. You must work your way up until you get to your previous score. And then eventually you're going to beat it, which requires a lot of patience and a lot of commitment to achieve what you want, despite the hardships in life.